that's one. Please come forward in front of this device and cause it to spike. Two spikes means yes, one means no. Are you a male? Two for yes, one for no. There we go, two for yes. It's male. Are there more of you here? Yes or no? Yes. Are you one of the people that was murdered? From the house that used to exist? Before I finished, it said yes. Yes. Who was one of the males that died? Jay Sebring. Is your name Jay Sebring, yes or no? Two for yes, one for no. Yes. yes Jay Sebring. Is one of the females that haunts this house Sharon Tate? Yes. We started getting spikes in the K2 meter as Chris was asking some pretty personal questions. And it was, it was kind of startling to start seeing this meter answer yes or no through the amount of blinks. Let's move up to the next level. You want to go up a level? Absolutely. How do you think that spirits are able to manipulate this thing? The theory is that since they are energy and not matter, and this measures energy, coming in close proximity can cause this to go off. See what we got, man. The thermal of the Dr. Ellis house. Right. Of you and Carol. Yeah, I'd love for him to see that. I was stuck in that chair. I feel like Thank I was you. watching a Hendrix video. <laughs> so, Jay, this is where you're being read by Carol. Okay. Now watch it. The thermal image grows off of you. Towards That's why Carol. I panned it across yeah. to follow it. Some kind of light. Here it comes. What the heck? After reviewing the thermal footage of when me and Carol were sitting downstairs talking, I have no idea. I have no response. And I found this while reviewing uh, the tapes that were in Grant's room. Now, Grant, just so I can remind you how you're laying right now, because you may not remember, you're laying kind of flat. Your legs come down here. Your other leg appears to be going off like this. You see that? Mm -hmm. You can see the rays in the. It's typical how comforter. I sleep. Yeah. Right. Whoa! Holy crap! Are you for real? Look at that. That is freaking me out. Now, one of the things I want to show you is our guys, and you will be able to see them, are right. over here. Okay. Yep. Okay. Now, I want you to focus on this one red area right here. Okay. Now, the funny thing is, whatever that one thing was, seems to have split off into multiple. Yeah. It starts heading uh, towards uh, the guys. Yep. yep. Now, after this, they're gone. Now, here me and Grant are in the woods, and we're trying to find the heat signature again. Okay. Right? You see this object right here? Yes. Okay. I want you to stay looking over here, this okay. tree. You're going to see something in just a second. Can, you, can, can I see that again? You sure can. We went over and looked, and all we could find were cattle way off in the distance yeah. in the far left of this picture. What do you think it is? Um... I'm not sure. I'm just glad I wasn't there. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I made the decision to keep away. We've got another piece of uh, video that we're going to show you. All right, so while you were out with Dave Tango and Dustin, uh, Dave actually caught something. Here it is. Do you remember this particular point in the night? I do indeed, absolutely. What were you I, out. I was talking to, to, to Dustin, and all of a sudden this face just appeared, and I thought, what on earth? was that. So okay. you weren't necessarily reacting to that, you were reacting to something else. I was reacting to something that was in front, okay. um, but by that stage it had gone like, like that. Then I'm going to show you something and I want, I want to know if it's what you think you, you saw. That's very similar. To see it at, at the machine that particular evening and then see something similar. It's almost like you got too close. Yeah. Mm -hmm. gotcha. The particular image at the last um, has me baffled. 
Now you're going to see right here. This is, is Frank happening? right here, back here. Okay. Boom. He goes down. Frank. Right. 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 You okay? Okay, it happens kind of fast. Yes, it does. And it happens hard. All right, this is at 50% speed. Here's Frank right here. This is his sound equipment, which you see. Boom. For some strange reason, his equipment lifted up by itself and was able to strike him in the face without him using his leg or either of his arms. All by itself. So exactly. If you, yeah, if you watch, you see this is his, his bag of equipment. Just smacked okay. him in the head. Now, as he's going back, right about there, he gets pushed in the chest. You see him fold? Yep. And then he goes down. Bang, and his equipment goes right over his head. We want to make sure that he didn't lift it up with his arm or his shoulder or anything. Right. And uh, to be honest with you, both his legs are firmly planted on the ground, and one arm's over his head and the other's right on his side. Wow. Let's move on. So what you're looking at here are the different stairs going up, and here are the landings all stacked. Okay. Okay? Now you can see some light passing through the stairs. Mm -hmm. Okay? Just keep your eye on that. We're not here to scare you. You can see something moving on it. Hey, you know, yeah, I saw something. Hold on, it keeps... There it goes. The watch is going to blast off to the right. Wow. Yeah, can I uh, see that clip again? Of course. Absolutely. Of course. It's like it stopped while they were talking and then it continues. There it is. Yeah. You can see it. So there it went. Wow, that sort of chill on my spine just yeah. now. Yeah. So there was something over them, and it's funny because me and Grant were experiencing the same thing. It felt like something was toying with us. Okay. But now this next piece of evidence that we're going to show you, this is during the time that we were following something. And it was like every time we went up a staircase, it would go up a staircase. Now, me and Grant are right around here on the staircase. You're going to see something up here, and you're going to see it move. And it's going to go straight up to the very top in a very, very short time. OK, you see this thing moving? Now look, look you at the that? very top. Was that just leaning over yes, right there? Yeah. Watch. <laughs> you're going to see it go up, up two flights of stairs in a matter of a couple seconds. Watch. Boom. Boom. And there Look at it that. is. Peeking right over at us. That gives me chills right now. Now this is the room that was filled with jars of formaldehyde, body parts. While me and Grant were checking out the morgue with the thermal camera, I noticed something odd that I just had never seen before. Do me a favor, just rewind quickly. I immediately asked Grant to rewind the tape so I could see what we had caught on the thermal imaging camera. And uh, upon him rewinding it, I could see a figure. I could see a figure standing right there in the door next to us. Oh, jeez. <laughs> when Jay said, rewind the tape, I was expecting a flash or something. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's freaking me out. Normally, when we catch something on a thermal imaging camera, it's not very impressive. Oh, my gosh. Hang on. I got to look at that again before I start flipping out. But there staring us down was this figure that was no more than two feet away from me. And honestly, it gave me chills. That kind of stuff just doesn't happen very often. It's the holy grail uh, for us investigators. So they constantly see shadows back and forth. Did you see that? I'll stop and see if we can hear it. Oh, yeah, that's weird when you do a slow mo. Look at that. Look, boom. Oh, that's trippy. Look at that. Me and Grant were walking through. We're not sure if it was some kind of an animal or, or what it was, but down the hallway we caught something. It darted across the hall.